A war relic has become a treasured gift of peace. Now it's heading back to its homeland, former enemy territory. The gesture from a well-known Hawaii family that means so much, especially this time of year. KITV4's Lara Yamada reports. Anyone who's been in battle recognizes that there are great sacrifices made on both sides. It's been in our family for nearly 70 years. It was the rifle his father gave him so many years ago. But nearing the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor, former judge Tom Kalukukui realized it was time to tell the story and return it home. He played a number of sports here. His father, Tom Kalukukui Sr., an outstanding athlete in Hawaii, an All-American, football, baseball, volleyball. By the end of the war, he was on his way to Japan. His team would win the Army Pacific Championship in Tokyo. But it was the prize that stunned them the most. His team was taken to a room where he said there was a pile of captured Japanese weapons. And they were told, take whatever you want. Okazaki Kaigun Koku Pai, which translates to Okazaki Naval Air Group. Very good shape. Japan American Society President Ed Hawkins heard of the story, learned soon to be kamikaze pilots once trained with it, and found a museum for it in Kanoya. About half of all of the kamikaze missions launched against the U.S. fleet flew from Kanoya. Somebody had this in a garage sale in Kailua. Fort Jerusi Army Museum historian Sheldon Chow says it's the reason so many people visit here too. Uh, Pacific battles are some of the fiercest that were, that were fought, and these are kids that were 17, 18, 19 years old. Now, the rifle was only here briefly at the Fort Derussi Museum, but what a perfect place for a handing over ceremony filled with memorabilia of our past wars and the people who served in it, including a very young Senator, Daniel Inouye. I am moved to, to send it back to Japan because it represents the courage of their soldiers, and it didn't take long to figure that out, that it's the right thing to do. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News.